neck mortise, next step. I have my mortise cut and I have my neck fit in there. And what I need to do is I need to make a hole in that neck lock for this bolt on neck. So I have it marked, I have it center punched. I have a drill bit in my cordless drill that's a little bit bigger because I'd rather be a little bit bigger than when I put my bolt in there. Uh, it's a through hole, meaning the bolt won't catch. So I have it in the vise. When I have it in the vise, I'm clamping on the neck block. I'm not clamping on any hollow part. And I try and have the guitar kind of perpendicular. That way my drill can be perpendicular. Now, I have the hole. My next step is gonna be fitting my neck again and seeing if that does fit with the bolt up through there. Then my next step is gonna be, I need access to that truss rod. So I'll be doing a similar thing up here for my truss rod next. Both holes are drilled into the neck block and the reason I'm outside is trying to get enough light that you can see that that truss rod hole matches up with the hole that's in the brace inside the top. I don't know if we're picking that up, but that's why measuring and working on a center line is so crucial that that happened to work out. have my bolt on hole, have my truss rod hole, and you can see I have my neck dry fit in here. I have a center line on my neck, I have the center line on my body. So now I'm gonna take a long ruler and line it up up here. And if I line it up with that center line, I still should be on this one. And if I get just a nice long look at this, I should see that everything's lined up and in line and it's looking really good right now so mortise is good my holes are good i can now keep working on this <laughs> 